Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am going to take you guys along with me for today. I have a few things to do. Got a couple showings. Um, I have to stop at our um, apartment building to pick up a few items. Gotta drop the kids off before I do all of that. Gotta get dressed before I do all of that. Yeah, cause your girl looking rusty and dusty right now, but that's okay, cause I was at work earlier with a client, so that's why I look rough. I need to do something to my head. And it's looking like it's looking. Oh. Um, so I'm about to shower. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone, put the kids in the shower with me, and then we're all gonna get dressed. And um, after we get dressed, I'm gonna drop them off to their grandmas and then we'll go from there. So, y'all don't mind my hair, I still didn't do it yet, but this is what I'm wearing today. And I got both of these pieces from Shein and I did not know these pants were gonna be high waist, but um, I'm liking them. Definitely giving me fall vibes, you know. They fit nice. This shirt is like super duper tight. Um, it's like super tight, but I like it. It's not too tight around the neck since it is like a mini turtleneck if you want to call it. But yeah, I'm digging the color combination. You know, it's giving what it's supposed to give and is okay. So I'm just gonna put my hair in a ponytail, my uh, bun. You know, my edges starting to grow back. When I bleach my hair, all of this was like this long. So it's finally, all of this around here was like this long. So it's finally starting to grow back. Um, I'm just gonna wear a ponytail. Your girl will probably be getting some braids this weekend or next because I'm long overdue, okay? So yeah, I'm just gonna do my ponytail and then we'll be about ready to go. So I'm about to drop the kiddos off to um, their grandmother's house. And then, um, I'm about to drop them off and then I need to get something to eat before I um, go show these properties because I probably won't be done until like 3, 30, 4 o'clock. So I definitely want to get some food. I have not eaten much today. Um, so yeah. I'm going to be thinking about what I'm going to eat. And I need to grab me a coffee. Coffee in the morning. Can I get your butter burger uh, with bacon basket? Single, double or triple? Single. Onion, pickle, mayo, lettuce, tomato care for you? Onion, pickle, lettuce, tomato, mayo. Yep, uh, bacon, no cheese. No cheese? Or do you guys have cheddar cheese? We do. I'll take cheddar cheese. All right, and then what's the drink? Um, you guys don't have coffee, do you? Coffee? Do you guys have coffee? Yeah, not like iced coffee, but just like hot or uh, regular decaf. Okay, I'll take a, a, a black coffee. All right, can I get anything else today? Um, and then, can I get um, ketchup and mustard on that burger too? Should be. And a side of barbecue sauce. All right. And that's it. 888, you support me. Thanks. Oh, as I told y'all before, like, I really do not be playing about my car because um, I feel like it just, it means so much to me at least to like maintain a clean car. So every chance that I get, I promise y'all like whenever I'm at the gas station, I'm throwing stuff away or, um, like I'm just very mindful now at least of how my car looks and just keeping trash on my car and just doing whatever I can to make sure like 
it's well kept. So, just got some candy wrappers out of here because I've been stealing my nieces and nephews Halloween candy since Halloween. So yeah. And I'm about to eat. I'm about to drive. So yeah. And I'm going to take off this coat because I or this jacket because I do not like driving with a jacket on. I know I'm not the only one. Like I just feel so freaking claustrophobic riding in a car with the jacket or a coat on. Alright, so I will be there. 204, pretty early. So I'll have time to actually eat when I um get to the property in the car. Kind of look around a little bit too. Gauge the area. I just got done doing a showing with one of the clients and she and I both like really loved the house. The very first the house. Stop sign. Turn left on this. The first house that we saw today, it was just like you could tell that it was owned by uh the previous owners were older and um it was it just needed a lot of updating. Um but it had it had good bones, just needed a lot of updating definitely move in ready though but we go on to the second property to view and it was beautiful the home was recently renovated the basement was renovated um, new appliances uh, like nice GE appliances and um, yeah the whole the whole feel and vibe of the neighborhood was just um, much more uh, family oriented just overall knock the other property that we saw first out of the park so we have one more property to go check out and then we'll be done for the day but i have a really good feeling about the second property we just saw um so yeah i will keep you guys posted and we're gonna go check out this third property and then i'll be back hey Brittany. hey um how are you <clears throat> How are you? I'm good. Um, these showings went really good today. Uh, the first, okay. the first property is a definite thumbs down, but the second property, um, she really liked. It was recently renovated, so it looks really good, like up to date, which she really liked. And then the third property on Queens Lane in Thornton, uh, she really liked as well because of the size. Um, not as you know newer, but um, she really liked it. So. She said that she, I think the uh, place on Elm Street is looking for offers no later than tomorrow. Um, so she was just saying like she really liked the one, but she just doesn't want to miss out on either one of them basically, you know, if one of them doesn't work. So, but she said she wants to put the offer up on Lane because she really likes okay. it, the space and everything. Okay, all right, cool. So I will, uh once I finish up with these showings, I'll text and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you. No problemo. All right, cool. I will uh, talk to you later at the end. All right, have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, so I am really happy because the client is happy. Um, she really enjoyed the last two properties that we saw. They were absolutely beautiful. Uh, definitely homey, a place that, you know, she could raise her son, um, which I, being a fellow mom, am just happy about for her. Um, so yeah, we'll see how things go. We're likely going to be putting an offer on the table. Um, so yes. I'm super excited about that. Today has been a great day um, in real estate. Customer has potentially found the place that they're gonna call home. So, I'm happy. 
Okay, guys, it has been a great day in the field. I worked this morning, and then, um, like I told you guys, I did a couple showings this afternoon. Had a very, 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 very happy client, so that makes me happy. I got the kids, um, so now I'm going to take them home. I'm gonna start dinner. I'm thinking spaghetti and catfish. Now, if y'all not from the Midwest, y'all don't understand spaghetti and catfish it's a meal it's a meal okay so i'm probably gonna do spaghetti and catfish and some garlic bread for dinner tonight i've been craving some catfish so that's what we gonna eat i think i want to make a reel a reel for instagram i got some video um content today while i was out doing the showing so i think i want to do a reel but other than that, it's going to be a pretty laid back after, um, evening. I might just, honestly, I might just cook and like sit down on the couch, listen to Bible study and maybe find a movie to watch and call it a night. Because your girl got to be up at um, 5 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what it's going to be.